Greetings fellow antique radio enthusiasts, Will here with Antique Radio Archaeology. On today's episode what we're going to do is talk about batteries for 1920s battery operated radios. Now as you can see I have some batteries here. Uh, these are rail vac batteries that are produced today. Uh, you can get them through uh, online websites. Uh, this here is a regular lantern battery and these are the batteries that are typically used to power most 1920 sets. Now these particular batteries have voltages of 22 and a half volts as some radios do require that. They also have 45 volts. So we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, hook up an actual radio and get it working. But before that uh, I wanted to explain a little bit about 1920 sets. First of all, we're going to use, of course, a Chelsea radio, because that's what I seem to have the most of. And the Chelsea Radio Company was nice enough to provide a little placard inside, which has the voltages written down in it. Now, um, with some of their older sets, they didn't have the placard, but what they have here in the back are terminals that have A voltage, or A, B, and second B type markings, and on this particular radio we actually have wires and wire colors that we're dealing with. So this placard talks about wire colors, and this here on this particular set actually has terminals that have the different uh, voltage is required. We're going to go ahead and use this Chelsea Super 5 and first off what we need to do is we need to have a ground, we're going to need an antenna and we're going to need a speaker. And the wires that are provided by the Chelsea radio, if you look at the placard, it says the blue for antenna. So we're going to hook that to the antenna jack. There is a ground, Now I'm using a, a regular electrical ground. I also have a ground wire that I will be hooking up to the what they call the A battery. Now what we have is an A battery, B battery, and a second B battery. And the purposes behind these batteries are the A battery is what the tube filaments use. And in this case we're, we're, we need 6 volts, actually 5 volts, but 6 volts is uh, pretty much what they use because this will drop uh, over time. Uh, the next voltage that we need is a 45 volts. And in the case of the Chelsea radio, the 45 volt uh, battery, which would be the B battery, actually powers the detector stage. And then, if you take the 45 volts, add it to this 45 volts, in other words, put them in series, you can create 90 volts for our second B battery, which is actually for the amplification section of the radio. So, that's how we're going to hook it up. So let's take our A battery. I need my ground. And the ground wire, according to Chelsea, is the black. And then I'm going to need, if we look at the placard, it says yellow cord with red is going to be the A+. Plus. So the A plus is going to be the plus on this, which they're talking about this wire here. So now I've got my filament circuit hooked up. 
The next thing I'm going to need, according to this, the 45 volts, is going to be the maroon wire. And the maroon wire is going to go to 45 volts. Now I'm going to need a minus, so I'm going to go ahead and hook up the A plus and B minus, which if you notice on a lot of the 1920s radios, they have you doing it that way. Now this 45 volts, like I said, I have to get over to this battery in order to put it in series. And then I hook up my red wire for my 90 volts. So those are the connections. I have the ground from the antenna going to the A battery. I have the ground from the wall going to the A battery. So all my grounds are connected together. I've got my antenna wire hooked to the antenna. My speaker's hooked up. And I've got my 6 volts for filament tied to the first, my A plus, B minus, are tied together. I've got my B plus hooked to the detector circuit. And then I've got my second B plus hooked to my amplifier stage. So with all that happening, I should be able to turn this on and get something going. And there you go. That's how you hook up a 1920s battery operated radio. Well, I do hope this video provided any answers you may have been looking for. If you liked what you saw, please hit like. If you'd like to see more content like this, please hit subscribe. Now, I will be providing links to the batteries that I showed here in this uh, video. And in the meantime, happy restorations, everybody. See you next video. Goodbye.